Greetings, Cuberts, and welcome to the demo version of the second episode of Coffee Talk, a much anticipated sequel from the very first Coffee Talk, released back in 2020 by Togi Productions, I think that's what it was called. I have been looking forward to this for a while, much of which I think all of you have been looking forward to it as well. This game was very heartfelt and very wholesome. I loved it very dearly. And now it is time we... Well, it's actually not time yet. The full version of the game has not been released yet. This is just a demo, as I've said already. But let's get into the demo of this game and see how good it is. Which I am already pretty sure it is going to be extremely amazing. Let's see. First. Yep. There we go. Yes, that's correct. Huh, I was right. Seattle, 2023. Not that far away. A city of enduring loneliness. Place where the dreamers, the realists, and the weary are striving to thrive and not just to survive. It is a time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive. I think that's true for every other place in the entire world. It is a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness. For the right to be acknowledged in a society rife with judgments, acceptance is a battle and in that identity is a luxury they just began to grasp. Many who are feeling lost turn to their screens to find their fast-paced with increased connectivity. Whether for work or pleasure, for a little encouragement, or simply to escape. It is unclear whether or not it helps or further isolates them. Full stop right there. As some look for answers off the beaten path, seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights, in a night blooming coffee shop standing between the rainy streets, they'd find a small respite through a cup of warm drink. That's what I'm talking about. I do so love coffee. As much as I love hot chocolate and teas and milks and such things like that. And these are their stories. Let's get on to these stories. I do got, I hope you guys can hear me perfectly because I, for the life of me, cannot. Sometime in 2023. Uh, and for me, it wasn't really that long since I played Coffee Talk. Like, I played it like a couple months ago. I know it was released a while back, but... I only played it recently, and I gotta say, the graphics has not changed much, and for that, I am thankful. By the way, I forgot to mention this, and I I have a habit of forgetting people's names, so I can't actually remember the name of the creator that made this, although I do wish him peace. As he has departed from this world. You, this, I, I'm sorry, I, I forgot his name. I know I sound like a jerk right now, but that's the thing for me. I cannot remember most names. I'm good with faces. Don't get me wrong with that, but names I am terrible with.
Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. Massive job loss as large companies move out of state. What's next? Seattle West Precinct Police is losing a record number of officers in January. Social experiments skirting between entertainment and menace. Hmm. I may need to replay Coffee Talk, the first one, because I need to try to remember if any of this is relevant. Let's start the day, shall we? I guess this will go on for a while. Hello, officer. Jorge. Georgie. However you pronounce it. Welcome. Evening, Cube. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is... I'd say the power lines? Probably. Yeah. What about them? Um, that I'm guessing. Oh. That's a concern. The power has kept going on and off all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. That bad, huh? Sorry. Still plenty of coffee, though. I'll take your order as soon as the machines are ready. Or not, I guess. No problem. I guess our resident writer, Miss Green-Haired Fairy, isn't here tonight. You mean Freya? The one and only. Unless she's changed hair color, then my bad. It's still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh. Why? She's currently on a research trip for her new book. That's so. At least that's what she told me. That's too bad. The Indians won't be the same without her. No kidding. I admit, it's been pretty quiet around here. But it's good for her to escape the city once in a while, to have some time to herself. Ah. Not looking too good, huh? Yeah. But I've already notified the city lights department. They said they'll monitor the area, just in case. Don't worry, Cube. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. Your lighter? Uh-huh. Got it from my grandfather, a, look, a lucky charm of sorts. Never failed us in a pinch, not even once. Unless you need it to light, uh, to, unless you need it lit up for longer than ten seconds, then you're on your own. That's a thought that counts. Don't cops usually carry flashlights around anyway? That's like the one of the basic things that for a cop to carry. You know, besides pepper spray, and a gun, and a radio, and a badge, and a donut. <laughs> Just kidding right there. Where am I? Oh, we do. Where's the thrill in that? Sounds like you need a vacation too. Do I ever. Machine's ready! Goodness, finally! Thanks for waiting. I can take your order now. Great. I'm already done for the day, so no more coffee for me. Oh, no man I patrol then? Just for tonight. Proud of that. In that case, we'd like to sample our new tea selection instead. We have hibiscus and blue pea available. Hibiscus and blue what? Uh, blue pea? It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. <sighs> I curse the fact that I have a dirty mind right here. The color is really pretty. Huh. I had no idea you offer alternative stuff, Cube. No judgment here, just saying. Alternative what? Oh. It's pea, as in pea pods. Oh. Oh! And not whatever you, else you thought it was. <laughs> eh, that's definitely what I thought it was. 
Mm. Got it. Whoops. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Still remember my golden rule. Still remember my golden rule. Of course. No dairy for Officer Georgie. I'm just going to call him Georgie. Correct. I'm sure you have all this info written down on your phone already. I want to say yes, but... Some of my notes went missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago. Whoops. Better write down everything you can remember then. Speaking of remembering, Freya actually left me something for you. That's so. Alright. I don't have one of your new teas. I'll leave the choice up to you. Just keep it simple. By the way, it is pronounced cube, not quub. Cube, as in C U B E. Cube. Remember that now. Let's take a look. Toma dot chill. Nice pick. What, I'm not listening to this as a friend? Jerk. You know each other for how long exactly? Okay, let's see. I don't see it on here. It too. Oh. Messed up. There we go. I'm gonna give Freya stuff to Officer Georgie now for a bit. Cinnamon Blue Pea. This is brand new. safe to drink. You're the one that ordered it. Sorry. You're the one that ordered it. That's it. What's with the color? I assure you, it's completely safe to drink. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing with you, Cube. Well? It's surprisingly mild, huh? Usually people put lemon in it. A lemon. It'd change color too. Really? Yep. Unfortunately, I'm out of. Unfortunately, I'm out of lemons. Didn't have enough time to get any from the store. <coughs> it's fine. I remember. I remember my youngest showed me a video of something like that. You know, she's really into new AG health stuff. Possible Whopper? I remember she made me a drink from Blue Algae or something. You know, I gotta say, I gotta let you guys know, I... I should let you guys know 
the impossible whopper is not completely healthy it is it is plant-based but it actually has it actually has more calories than a regular whopper fun fact to lower my cholesterol she said probably was it tasted like dirt I still drink it all through I still drink it all though nice of her to think that out of her nice of her to think of her dad's health yeah she's swell between you and me though I'll stick with coffee but this one I don't mind at all maybe I'll ask her about it later thanks you're very welcome what a storm. Got somewhere to be? I'm supposed to be home by now. Why are you here? My youngest has just finished all her makeup exams. Makeup exams? Yeah. We found out for some reason or other she's been neglecting her studies. Yeah, that sounds like a typical student behavior. So let's just say I had a few things to say about that. How did it go? It was a disaster. Oof. But she pulled through at the end, right? Yep. Except we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. Sorry to hear that. Anyway, the missus planned to celebrate a little tonight. Making all the kids' favorite dishes, having her sisters over for dinner, and all that. So I'm buying the so I'm buying the dessert pies as an olive branch of sorts. Sounds like a good plan. But as you can see, I got no pies, and I'm nowhere near home because of the storm. That and my car's busted. All the value cores removed. All the valve cores removed and tires deflated. What? How come? It just so happens my car is the latest victim of a vandalism spree. That's a whole other thing going on. Rest easy, though. We're on it. Are you? Are you really? For now, I need to find a way to get home fast. You can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me to have no questions. Oh. New guy! By Zeus, what a disaster. Welcome. Hey, let's shake him. Evening, Pops. What's up? Thunderstorms, obviously. Touche. Gods, isn't the weather just awful? It's like someone up there doesn't care about their water bill or something. I'm glad you're open, though, else I'd be super soaked by now. <coughs> Happy you made it in time. Would you like any, Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up? That'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas, by the way. And you are? My name is Cube. And the gentleman over here is Officer Georgie. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Pops. Can I call you Pops? Why by me? Sweet! Uh-oh. Mrs. Calls. Uh. Alright, be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. See ya. So... Can I get a cafe latte? Sure. Or maybe not. Yes. You know what? I'm not sure. You tell me. You're the pro. Um... Okay, okay. Hear me out. You see, I used to like coffee. Heck, I love espresso. Loved espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. Like, really hate it. You know what I mean? Right. Anyway, milk helps take the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. But I still miss just coffee, you know? That's why I'm wondering if you can suggest me something. What is it about coffee that you miss? The caffeine, of course. And just the overall bullness, you know what I mean. Am I making sense? Have you ever tried matcha? Nope, but 
but isn't that just green tea? Yes, but more, much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Then one matcha for me, please. I cannot stress this enough. I cannot drink coffee black. I do like coffee, but I just cannot drink it black. It is too bitter for me. I strictly need to have creamer in my coffee. I recently tried the, tried this creamer. Or, uh, or it tastes like a freshly made cookie. Really just green tea, that's it? I don't recognize that from the first game. Must be new. I'm pretty sure I had something else to say, but I already forgot what it was. Yeah, sorry about that. I gotta say, this is really great. This is just the demo, but I'm already excited for the full version to come out. A cup of premium matcha coming up. Ah, oh, great, you're one of those people. Man, it's super green, huh? Let's try it. What do you think? You know what? It's pretty good. It tastes a little grassy, though. But I kind of like it. I'm glad it's to your taste. I wasn't sure if you enjoyed it as I as is. Why wouldn't I? Some people find the taste a bit too intense when it's served straight like this. Some people would say the same thing about coffee. Well, good thing I like intense. Because it makes up for the fact I'm really not. Anyhow, looking forward to your future recommendations from now on. I'll do my best. So, has anyone ever come here? Just trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? I'm reading something right now and recording. Jeez, you already ruined the video. But there's like no trace of your place anywhere. No tags, no mentions, nothing. What's up with that? Uh, maybe our crowd isn't as big as your usual coffee shop since we open quite late. Honestly, I like the coffee shop that's open late. Nice ambiance. That makes sense. What time do you guys close anyway? We're open until morning. For real? It's pretty heckin' light. Do you turn into a secret bar after like 2 a.m. or something? If we did, Officer Georgie would over there would have a few things to say about that. Well, that's no fun. Are you guys on social media at all? Not the coffee shop itself, no. Uh, forgive me for that. Uh, someone just came in and was wondering what I was doing. Hopefully that won't happen again. Late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey, that means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course. Stay as long as you like. Sweet, thanks. I can give you a shout out if my stories if you I can give you a shout out on my stories if you want. Your stories? Yep. Here, let me show you. He took the photo and posted it moments ago. That was fast. Oh. I was going to tag your place here. I do have an account there. But I haven't seen this feature before. Oh yeah, it's pretty new. It's a pretty new thing on Tomodachill, huh? You can check on people's updates now. Just open the stories tab inside the app on your phone once in a while. Better check it daily though, because the stories only last a day. Who knows, maybe you'll find some juicy info on your customers there. That's a bit... Hey, I'm just saying, people will post anything. 
I still wonder why people were posting things about Fortnite. Yeah, I wonder why I forgot what it was called. Yeah, I wonder why people are still posting things about Fortnite. It's a dying game. Kidding. I'm usually more active on my tube channel anyway. But hey, since you're here, want me to tag you instead? <laughs> no thank you. But I'm curious, what do you do exactly? Your posts already seem to have a lot of reactions for a new feature. Right. I guess you can call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts? I report on the hottest trends. On the hottest people. On the hottest places. And everything else in between. Wow. Does that mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? Do you want it to be? Sure. For the right price you can. Uh, never mind then. Just kidding. My manager decides what I endorse. They help keep me on brand to... They help keep me on brand, so to speak. That's what Disney said about the Owl House. And how wrong they were. Since they said I can get... To, since they said I can get too crazy sometimes. Whatever that means. Oh, lordy. Welcome back, Pops. I was saying welcome back as he was saying that. Weird. Thanks. Is everything alright? Kind of. The missus is not happy. It could be worse. You could have been in a bar. Maybe I should try calling the cabs. What do you think? I'd have my minutes. I'd save my minutes if I were you, Pops. Not good, huh? Been calling him while I was still on the lookout earlier. One and a half hour later, here I am. There are no cabs around the station either. <coughs> that was a dry cough, by the way. Did you try ordering online, Pops? Did you not see my phone? The only order I can do is gnome noms from around the corner of my house. Touche. Well, on the bright side, our power seems stable for now. You just like tempting fate, do ya? I retract my statement. <laughs> For what it's worth, it held out much longer than I expected. You're right. Wanna borrow my lighter then, Cube? A tempting offer, but no thank you. I'm going to check on something though, so I'll be right back. Sure, good luck. Hey, you alright? Yeah. Everything's peachy. I just... Heh. Hey, Cuddles. I just don't like being in the dark so much. What? You're scared of the dark, kid? Duh. You never know who might jump out at you. But we're in a room. Still? Don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I do night patrols all the time. If I can grab them, I can handle them. In theory. I don't know how to feel about that at all. Huh? Did you hear something? What? I swear I heard something just now. Another new person. should be good for now. Oh, great. Welcome. Can I place my order? Of course. What do you have? Although our, although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have all the usual fare. Coffee, tea, and herbal drinks. I like something soothing for my throat. And for my mind. Tough day at work. 
if you have no particular drink in mind. Mind if I suggest trying our new blue pea latte? Blue pea latte. Could you make it pretty? I'll try my best. Okay. One boot one blue pea latte with art, please. I'm not good at the art thing. Let's see if I have it here. I do not. Okay, let's see. Maybe this? Here we go. All right, let's make ourselves some really horrible art. That's as good as I'm gonna get it. Thank you for waiting. Here we go. It's blue. Yes, but the rest is but rest assured, it is all natural. I see. It's pretty. Hmm. How do you like it? It's good. Thank you. You are very welcome. Is the power okay now? Yes, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now we can just wait until the storm's over. Well, about that. The news said the storm will go on until midnight at the very least. What? Would have been nice if I had it in my car. There are several road closures due to flooding also. Well, darn. So basically you're saying we're stuck. I'm afraid so. At least for a little while. I'm in deep trouble. What's wrong with your car, Pop? Pops? Well, you didn't finish explaining it earlier. Yeah, you didn't finish explaining it earlier. I have questions. <laughs> Just didn't want to alarm you, Cube. His tires got flattened. For real? Yep. There's been some vandalism going around recently. Somebody keeps removing valve cores and deflating tires from parked cars around the West Precinct. Huh? Why? Maybe someone's a collector. Or got too much time on their hands. No clue yet. Anyhow, our station lost. Our station lot was getting remade. Had to say, actually, kind of feel what he's saying right here. One time at work, some guy mentioned that someone was out in the parking lot stealing gas. So a few of us had to park outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone's car get, cars get affected too, Pops? Nope. Just mine. Oh. That's so weird. You're so chill about it. Yeah. Maybe because there's no real damage done, other than wasting my time. 
Though my co-workers aren't so cool about it. The recent mass resignations have left us severely understaffed. Additionally, companies are moving out due to the tax hike, so there are protests happening. Which means tensions are high all around. That doesn't sound good. But I know it. Anyway, we caught the Cobra on CCTV. So I'll be looking into it starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier in the meantime. Could it just be a break, Pops? You think so? Yeah. With what's been going on lately, the suspe the suspicion would land elsewhere, right? So the culprit m may think they won't get caught. Are you speaking from experience? If I say yes, would you let me? Would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. Harsh. But I'm serious. Prank videos are like their own genre online, you know. People watch that kind of stuff? Dude, you'd be surprised what people are watching. Oh yeah. It's all about cheap thrills, pops. And a good way to make money too, if you play your cards right. Oh. The crazier your stick is, the more views you get. Which means more ad money. Lather, rinse, repeat until you push them just a bit too far. Then you get the nuke and everything will just go poof and disappear. Won't stop anyone from doing it all over again though. Because really all you need to get started is a camera phone and Wi-Fi. Everything else comes down to timing and luck. You sure know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. Oh no! My manager will kill me! Joking. Anyhow, a high risk, high reward opportunity with a low entry barrier? Sounds like something else. Oh yeah? Anything goes for views. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Oh. It's a long story. I've been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long time now. What's wrong with it? Well, the views are declining for one. Why not? Why? Not enough pranks? Harsh. Nah, I haven't done those things in a long time. Not that I ever want to get back into it. Anyway, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. Because people don't like change. That's right. Yet, they can get bored easily too. So true. Today's good might be trash tomorrow. So it feels like I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. You make it sound like I'm in the continuity of your work depends on the audience's rent kid. Hey, you over there. You gonna chime in or something like that? Are you gonna say something? I guess you could say that. Dude, I was just kidding. Darn. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I was unable to avoid overhearing you. That's alright, I know my I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? Do you think the audience is always right? Of course not. Then why place so much emphasis on what they want? Why must you follow their whims? I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? No, it all comes down to what you like to do. And the fact that you like to post these things and that you enjoy what you're doing. A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even 10 or 100 is still doable. But to influence the opinion of thousands? Millions? Not so easy. So my belief is, if you can't fight them, join them. They change things slowly from the inside out. There's no way it can work. No? Why do you think that? 
My apologies for not providing context. You don't have to. I was just curious. Considering I'm intruded, it is only fair. I admit that I am not a big fan of online activities. I find that people's conduct that they're very loathsome. That's a strong word. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online. In preparation for my audition as a soprano. A soprano? Really? That's cool. Can I see it? The only soprano I know is from HBO. I don't think I'm thinking about the right soprano, though. I took it down. Aw, why? I believe she's getting to a kid. Right, okay. It was something done out of necessity. I recorded the reel using my phone at home. Since I, since I have no previous theater experience to show, it was not of the highest quality, I admit. Even so, I did post it to a video site, mainly to add the link to my ap applications. Though I am not sure if it helped at all, as my attempts have yet to yield results. Right. <sighs> Don't worry, not every video is going to turn out the way you want it to turn out. You gotta start out small, and then work your way up. Not every video is going to be gold. However, one day my application received an unexpected response from an auditioner. It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What did they say? They highly recommend that I moderate my video's comment section. So I checked. It was a lot. What happened? The comment section was teeming with plenty of strong opinions. If they can even be called that. What? There were a lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and to take my video down because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. What's with that nonsense? Others questioned my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice. Many others also wanted to know who and where my handler was. Since there's no such thing as a, a sentience for a banshees, I suppose. That's real fucked up. That's horrible. Even with the Vindication Act in place, those POS still exist? Huh? The Vindication Act? A global treaty to recognize the sentience and rights of non sapiens. Sapien refers to any species that is intelligent and bipedal. Like humans, elves, orgs, gnomes, halflings, you know the type. Huh. Yeah, like, even us, us satyrs got added pretty late into the game too, you know. Oh, but shouldn't you fit the bill right away? Yeah, but we're all born male. Hmm. Didn't know that. And we didn't really have the best reputation either. Anyway, it took a while for us to finally get recognized by international law. Since the further you are from the likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. So I'm sure it's been way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Still, it doesn't make it right. But I get it now. You're just staying for the internet. I'm impressed you still you're still you seem very chill about it. Chill? Do I look chill? Oh, uh, the light. But how can you be chill? Oh boy. When such blatant disrespect is thrown in your face like that! Whoa! Don't you wonder what gives them the right to be so vile? Reach it, girl. 
Who do they think they are? Pray tell. What do you think? What do they feel when they commit such offensive acts? Do they derive some sort of perverse pleasure from other suffering? I think they call those sadists. Spin on the monitor right there. The audacity! I can't! I can't! I see the um, the anon the anonymity of talking through screens has afforded people the comfort of disrespecting others without suffering a direct hit to their face for it. Tear it out again. Just a second, please. Okay. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Hmm? It's just... not right. The kind of behavior is just not right. I'm sorry. I've gone too far. It's alright. I admit I just don't want to hear that the audience is always right. Because that means my dream has ran aground before I can even try. Although I may hate the kind of th things that people say about you know, people wanting specific things and for people to cancel YouTube altogether, you shouldn't listen to them. After all, it's not like um, they can find you in person. How about if I help you? Look, I get what you're going through. As a satyr, I had to deal with plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down to justify their own inferior complexes. Inferiority. Inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you this. You've got what it takes to turn the tables on them. How? Easy. You gotta sell yourself. Well, kid, slow down. I might, I might be lax, but I still work for the law. No, Pops, not that kind. Honestly, I don't know much about the opera scene. But I know sirens dominate a huge chunk of the Soprano swirls. Am I right? Yes. It's as if they were made for the role. Exactly, so this is a case of... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which means no matter what you do or how hard you try, you will always be an outlier. Therefore, you can just compete based on your skills alone. It's hard to say this, but you probably won't make it. Why, 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 why would you say that? You saw what just happened right there. Wait, hear me out. You got one awesome thing all those sirens don't have. A story. A story? Yeah. Imagine. A banshee who dreams of becoming a lead soprano. Or whatever it is you wish to do on the stage. Pursuing your dream in the midst of all the sirens despite all the odds stacked against her? Isn't that a great narrative? But you haven't even heard my scene yet. Have you? I'd love to, of course. But honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. What? Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Most people will just scoff at it because of their own dumb assumptions. Which is exactly what we want. And then we'll blow all their expectations away. By putting you on stage. What stage? And how? Don't worry, I have my ways. No matter how you sing, everybody will be surprised seeing you there. And that's when you'll get your time to really shine. What are you talking about? No! What? Why? I just wanted, want the chance to properly sing. To show I'm what I'm made of, regardless of what I am. 
I know, and I'm offering you a possible way in. No offense, but all this sounds like you're just... It's as if you're trying to sell a caricature of me. Of course not. No way. But ouch, that kind of hurt a little. I'm sorry for being rude. But I don't know you. And you don't know me. So how am I supposed to consider everything you said? When you don't even know my name. Well, if you... Don't you think? Hey. I don't know where you're going with that, but... I think you went too far, kid. What the hell are you talking about? Ah, crap. Hey, look, I'm... The storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Right. Thank you for coming, miss... Riona. Miss Riona. We hope to see you again. Our conversation certainly took an odd turn. So let me make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel a few you were actually intended for me. Take care. Have a safe trip. And she's gone. Sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't say, kid. This old man is still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh, man. Don't know what came over me, Pops. I get too hyped for my up. I get too hyped up sometimes and lose all of my cool. Sorry, just a sec. It's my manager. Rope closure is over, so he's picking me up now. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. By the way, you need a ride, Pops? I can drop you off wherever you no problem. Thanks, kid, but it's alright. I'm sure the cabs will start the cabs will start rolling around soon. You sure? Yep. Alrighty. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming. We hope to see you again. Yeah. Hey. Cube? Yes? No, it's nothing. Okay then, see you soon, Cube. Pops. Have a safe trip. Well, that was a show and a half. No kidding. Feels like I'm ready to just call it a day. <laughs> as soon as I get my cab, I get, I'll get out of here, here Cube. Oh, please, you know I don't mean like that. I'm not gonna lie, though. Listening to those two got me thinking for a little bit. About? Me and my youngest daughter, Missy. Maybe I was too hard on her, but I don't know. When you are a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. It's always a fine line to tread, for sure. Yep. Um... Hits the missus. You know what? I think I better go. At least if she hears the rain outside, she'll get less mad at me. Please try not to get sick. Kidding. I better get. Better go though. You take care of closing cube. Will do. Hope you get a cab soon. Thanks. See ya. Ugh. What a day. Better clean up and then. Huh? What's this? An old metal lighter with an interesting design card on it. Hmm. Someone must have forgotten this. Better keep it safe over here. It exudes it I didn't read that. Okay, now let's wrap this up. To be continued. Well, that was amazing. I really enjoyed it. And yes, I have wishlisted you. And I cannot wait for the full version to come out. Well, and just like that, the episode shall end right here. Thank you all for watching, and 
if you liked it, subscribe to the like button. This is, God, here I go again with just pronouncing my words. If you liked it, push that subscribe button and like the video. Now, if you excuse me, I need to make myself some coffee because, it, but it's not for me. It's for this other thing. I can't really say. Okay, bye.